yourselves and you're watching Red Out Live. What is going on guys? Brutal Life back with another video and today I am standing in front of the brand new WWE action figure arena slash room and today in this video we are going to be, that's right, we are going to be setting up my backstage area as you can see. This bin in front of you guys consists of every piece of backstage equipment that I used in my past arenas. I'm gonna be setting it up on this table right here. If you guys are like, dude, white, what? That is why we always, if you guys are a Brutal Live OG sub, you guys always know that we use the black party mats. I get them from the dollar store, $1. I always go with black, you can go with the dark gray too, that would work. Uh, it's just for the floor, you know what I'm saying? So I use black for the floor. And then I use um, all my accessories. I got the backstage brawl in here. I got the performance center. I got some little cardboard, uh, little like topper things like the festival friend, not the festival friendship, the um, Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt thing. Got the little gorilla position piece, some freaking door, literally anything and everything is in here. So in this video, we're gonna put it together and then I'm gonna show you the different, like the little rooms, the little like, like little details with the like backstage area and everything. So without further ado, let's get to it and start putting this bad boy together. All right, as you guys can see, I just emptied the freaking bin full of backstage accessories and bigger accessories for wrestling figures. And you guys can see all the different pieces right in front of you right here. We have the backstage brawl playset mixed in through here with a bunch of different pieces. We have the performance center playset mixed in. We have the Slammy Award playset there. We have the festival, for, oh no, why do I keep on saying festival of friendship? The Firefly Funhouse. A uh, little backdrop, a bunch of different random steel steps everywhere. I have a lot of freaking steel steps on here. There's two, wait, there's some in there. The two black uh, sets there, these. Man, this is gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna, put, like, see the little dip right here? What I'm planning on doing is I got, where is it? Here it is. This little block right here, it almost goes right up to the depth of that. So I'm gonna set that up right there, and I think that'll look cool. At least that's the plan. I might even put it up there again. This is just some ideas that I'm getting as I'm looking at everything. But yeah, not bad. Let's see what I come up with. Okay guys, that has been the time lapse of me building this entire freaking arena. I cut the time lapse a little bit short, uh, only because it was just tiny little things that you wouldn't really know and see a difference from. But yes guys, we do have the backstage area completed. Uh, and as you can see, it is attached to my WWE Arena. I'm probably going to be doing a separate video on that, so stay tuned. But yes, guys, we got the backstage area right here in front of you guys. I got to admit, it probably is a little similar to my couple, my past uh, backstage areas. But dude, this one's got its unique features uh, and unique little things to it. And we're going we're gonna to go over it. So we're going to start down over here because in my opinion, this is probably the lamest part. Behind the backstage area, we got some extra equipment. We got a motorcycle. We got the WrestleMania 3 little entrance piece. We got uh, a couple steel stairs, a stretcher, a random ladder that I placed right there. And starting over here, we have a little garage door. And my the one vehicle besides the motorcycles that fits through there is the brand new Reckon ATV. So I put that thing right there like it just entered because it could definitely fit through there. We got my garbage bins right there that I got from the dollar store. I know I'm going to get questions on these. I got them from the dollar store. I saw a big end cap full of them. I'm like, I'm grabbing two of those from my WD backstage area. There's even garbage inside of them. So you guys can check that out. Little thing that I got from eBay right there. Little glass breakaway piece. Got the... um. A random just grocery cart full of a couple different 
ambulance doors, a golden chain, just some weapons to inflict damage. I had to set this up. The APA door and then the APA table, even the chairs are APA. Both of them, by the way, how dope is that? I just thought that was really cool. I had to set that up. I had to, man. And then of course you could see the little uh, pallet right there that they're looking to dump in the garbage. You got a motorcycle also pulled in front of the ATV. As you can see, I connected the performance center and the backstage area, go wrapping all the way around. This corner is more of like a workout area. As you can see, got some pull-up bars right there, a punching bag, a freaking tire. And then we got a little workout session right here. You can see Riddle's flip-flops right there, which I thought was just pretty cool. There's just a tiny little touch. Put those on there like you just finished working out or something. You got the little ropes on the floor, garbage can. Oh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting to add this to my backstage area. You got the dummy punching bag right there looking awesome. He goes right in front of the mirror, which actually is breakaway and works. I laid this little piece of scaffolding across the top. I just thought it made it look just a little more backstagey, if that makes any sense. We got a couple of just weights laying around, some extra weights for the bench. And then you can see another 45 pound bar right there. You can see the lockers right here with a little WWF logo at the top. A couple of chairs, a couple of superstars just chilling, talking before they get ready, go out to the ring. This is more of like a hangout area, like I said. So you got the watering fountain, a little fire extinguisher on the wall. Do not enter. Pepsi machine. I know I'm going to get questions on that. That's actually an old radio. Um, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to use this for a radio. I'm freaking going to use it as a freaking backstage piece. I don't know what that little black scra scrape is on there. It wasn't there before. Uh, but yeah, a little Pepsi machine looks pretty cool. Right before they go out to the ring, they can grab some out of the vending machine. This area is unique. You guys had to cut the camera, move to my different camera, but yes, over here, we have the freaking area where, like, they're going to get instructions, of course. WWE scripted, I hate to say that. I mean, it's it's it could be real at times, of course, but it is scripted. They always know who the winner is. So here is a table that they have all the matches planned on a little thing, briefcase, Got a couple headsets to relay some messages, a couple microphones. Like this is a place that you go for information right before you go out to the ring. You need to know what you wanna do for the night. You're gonna come right here to the GM or Vince, whoever's there, and you're gonna get your information. Moving over here, we got catering. Of course, we got catering. This is where like the jobbers are gonna be. You know, This is where the jobbers are gonna be chilling, or if you just wanna have a quick meal before you go out to the ring. Pancakes is on the agenda for the meal. And then of course, we got a little uh, veggie tray or whatever. A little meat cheese tray with olives in the center. A little bit of the bubbly surrounding the table. A barbed wire bat, of course. And a little uh, podium right here with nothing on it. I thought that was just a pretty cool area. You gotta add the garbage can. Garbage cans are scattered throughout the backstage. You need places to throw away your garbage. Right over here, we got the gorilla position where the superstars will enter out into the ring. And then, of course, we do have a um, couple chairs sitting right there. Raw general manager office, which we will get into. This is more of like a medical area. You can see some neck braces, an arm brace, bottle of water, some um, crutches right there, a uh, freaking... A uh, stretcher right there, a couple wheelchairs. That, that, that was a pretty cool um, or a little spot. I printed out that little logo a while back, and I taped it on the WWE logo. I thought it was cool. Moving over here, this is more of like a storage area, like where they'd like put like just random barrels, you know, like different equipment, props for the show. That's where all this is going to be right here. And then, of course, we do have the shipping containers, which is one of my favorite accessories ever. Uh, I wish they'd include more of those with actual Mattel, like a Elite figures. Those are originally from the backstage brawl. Mattel, definitely make more of these and put them with elites. I think that would be freaking epic. Uh, but moving now into the office, this could either be Vince's office, Adam Pierce's office, any general manager in history's office, right here. And of course, it's pretty chill in here. We got some chairs, garbage can, a little table right there with a plant and a little um, statue, of course, that Chris Jericho gifted to Kevin Owens. We get a couch looking comfy. We got a couple little backdrops, the Royal Rumble, a little spray painted WWE logo. You got a little table with a lamp on it, another chair. Here's a little podium with the creation of Kevin on it, which always got to display the creation of Kevin. It is absolutely beautiful. And of course, over here, this is more of just like a random spot. Got a little chair sitting there with the WWF logo. Pretty cool. Not bad at all. And, of course, the backstage area does not end. By the way, I put that little piece of scaffolding on there. Got some rope hanging down that act as, like, cables. If we go through there, we could enter into this area, which is more of like a... 
This is like the area where like you're gonna come out of there. This is more of like the gorilla position. Then you're gonna go over there, then go out to the ring, which is over there. Which I think I think this is more of a I think this is more of just like a more of an open area, not too much going on over here. You got an interviewing area, a ladder, steel steps to get up onto the ramp. You got a semi truck unloading some stuff, a couple cars, some superstars pulling up in their vehicles, ladder randomly placed, chairs. You got a couple tables right there for maybe a table spot that's gonna go down. A couple tables going up to the secondary level, or tables, ladders going up to the secondary level. And then we do have a table on the top right there looking pretty cool, not bad at all. But yeah, again, there's not too much going on in this area. It's more of just like an open area where like vehicles are gonna be pulling up and different things like that are gonna be popping. But yeah, guys, stay tuned definitely for the main arena. I am gonna be filming a video separately on that, but this has been the backstage area video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Definitely let me know down in the comments down below if you guys have any suggestions of different things I could add to this, different things I can move around. Again, just suggestions if you guys have them, drop it in down in the comments down below. Something new that I did add it was catering. I did not have that in my last backstage setup and the APA set because I was able to complete the set. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to smash a like, subscribe to the channel. Bunch of new videos coming insanely soon, so definitely stay tuned. Check out all the new videos I've been posting. Some great stuff over there on the channel. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below something awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Brit Alive! Out!